Hi there, so you probably purchased it during Crane 3SE or during Crane 3S and you were probably thinking, yeah, I'm gonna upgrade it for the future. Now the future has arrived, you might be shooting bigger cameras on the next project, what can you do to make it ready? So today I'll show you some quick little improvements and upgrades you can do to your Dream Crane 3S gimbal. Let's do it! On the left side are tools that we're gonna need this time. So this is a classic Red Pro tools and then scissors and duct tape. So one frequent problem that we often run into is when we change the tripod shot to a gimbal shot, it takes a lot of time. Most of the reason being is because the tripod plate has to be changed. First, we're going to put the quick release plate on there. So then we can switch between our tripod and the gimbal extremely fast. But if your during quick release plate already fits on your tripod, you don't need to do this step. My recommendation is we unify all the tripod plates. By purchasing tripod plates like these, which has safety locks and are also cheap and size-wise also small. And now we're going to change the during quick release plate to our plate. We'll close up base plate. Make sure this is really tight. And the cool thing is this actually acts also like a riser. So if your lens is a bit wide, it won't scratch here on the plate. So the surface of this is also bigger. Now we take the plate and put it onto the camera. All right. Now we can see. So here I am doing a tripod shot. And after I'm done, I can very quickly detach it and make it ready for the jewelry gimbal. There we go. So one other reason you might be upgrading your gimbal is because you're going to use bigger cameras like FS7 or C300. So if that's the case, now it's a good time to install the extension arm. This is going to the part where we're going to install the extension arm. This you shouldn't do frequently back and forth. After removing the four screws, we take it out very carefully. You'll see that there's a cable here, so don't tear it up. This is the extension arm component we're going to be using. We place it on like a Lego. And then with this one, go over and attach it carefully. Now, please be very careful. Now, there are no screws helping to stabilize this. But we'll have a quick look on the other side, where we can see there's a cable hanging out. And we'll deal with it with this cover. This is a sliding cover and we will have to take off this part again, just a little bit, very careful. And now we can use this one. We slide it in here. There are two sides, so make sure the wider one goes inside. You'll feel it. And then reattach this part. Now we can stabilize this arm with some screws. I will just put them roughly in place because my first goal is to roughly stabilize it. Okay, now that we have everything in place, let's tighten the screws. Now we have the extension arm on it, which is great. You can put now bigger camera setups on here. You have way more room. But also for these smaller camera packages, there is an advantage. Next step would be, if you want to have a bigger camera package on there and also able to conveniently pick it up, I would strongly recommend to purchase another Easy Sling handle. We'll place it here. Like so. Now with the locks, you click it in, turn a little bit back till you hear the click. Let's continue with the tripod feet. Now, if this setup is on the ground, it's way more easy to pick it up because you have two parts to hold. And also, it will give you actually an advantage when you shoot high angle shots because you can really raise it high with this extension. Hmm. 
Now, one other important thing is you want to transport it very easily. You don't want to have it always in this kind of a case. Uh, so let's say you're hiking and you're climbing up a mountain and there's an awesome shot. You want to have it ready to go and immediately shoot without having to set up all this. So my recommendation for that is to make a shoulder strap. Here I'm going to show you guys. And we use a component, something like this. They have a quarter screw size on one side and a ring on the other side. We'll take the big one. Now you'll notice that it doesn't fit. So we'll get also a little adapter for the screw size. Lock it in place tight. And insert the screw to ring adapter. And on the other side, we'll do something different. Because here, there's no way to attach anything. We'll use a rope and cut at about here. And then do this kind of a knot. We'll open up this part have it placed somewhat like this and start screwing it in. Next thing we're going to do is we'll take a classic shoulder strap. We use this side, hook it in, and this side. And when we're about to transport, we'll lock the axis into this direction. And now climb the mountain. <laughs> So as you guys can see, this is very, very easy. And the good thing is if I want to shoot something, I can quickly set it down. And be ready to shoot. Now beside the gimbal, of course, also its accessories are very important. When you walk onto a set, you will encounter a lot of problems and you should be ready to deal with any kind of problems immediately. Some very useful tools to tighten screws. Definitely get some extra batteries just in case. It's good to have these cable ties to keep everything snug and together. So when your camera package moves around, it doesn't get like torn and all over the place. Up next, I will usually pack in a bunch of HDMI cables just in case. So in this case, for example, I have three different sizes of HDMI. Micro, mini and full size HDMI cable. And also I will recommend HDMI adapters, 90 degree angle. One last thing is when you're finished with the mountain shoot and go back to your car and want to transport and go back home. So often what we also use are these bubble wraps. Take this gimbal, roughly put it in place and just wrap it up so it's safe. That's basically it. So this should make you very ready for the next upcoming bigger job. And also I hope this helped you a lot. What would your upgrades be? Let us know in the comments below.